Well, hello. I want to talk to all of the children, and I want to give them a children's story, and the story is entitled, Saving the Birds. Here's how it go, kids. Parents, make sure your kids are here now. One day in the spring, four men were riding on horseback along a country road. These men were lawyers, and they were going to the next town to attend court. There had been a rain, a terrible rain, and the ground was very soft. Water was dripping from the trees, and the grass was wet. The poor lawyers rode along one behind another, for the pathway was narrow, and the mud on each side of it was deep. They rode slowly and talked and laughed and were very jolly in the midst of the rain. As they were passing through a grove of small trees, they heard something, a great fluttering over their heads and a feeble chirping in the grass by the roadside. Stis, stis, stis came from the leafy branches above them. Chirp, chirp, chirp came from the wet grass. What is the matter here? asked the first lawyer, who was named Speed. Oh, it's only some old robin, said the second lawyer, who was named Mr. Hardin. You know, the storm has blown two of the little ones out of their nest. They are too young to fly, and the mother bird is making a great fuss about it. What a pity that they will die down there in the grass, says the third lawyer, whose name, well, I forget. Oh, well, they are nothing but birds, said Mr. Harding. Why should we bother? Yes, why should we bother, said Mr. Speed. Well, the three men, as they passed, looked down and saw the little birds fluttering in the cold, wet grass. They saw the mother robin above flying about and crying to her mate, Mr. Robin. Then they rode on, talking and laughing as before. Well, in a few minutes, they have forgotten about the birds. But the fourth lawyer, his name was, you probably remember this name, Abraham Lincoln, who stopped. He got down from his horse and very gently took the little ones up in his big warm hands. They did not seem frightened, but chirped softly as if they knew they were safe. Never mind, my little fellow, said Mr. Lincoln. I will put you in your own cozy little bed. Then he looked up to find the nest from which they had fallen. Well, you know, it was high, much higher than he could reach. But Mr. Lincoln could climb. After all, he had climbed many trees when he was a boy. He put the birds softly, one by one, into the warm little home. Two of the baby birds were already there. They had not fallen out. But they all cuddled together, down with each other, and was very, very happy. Soon, the three lawyers who had rode ahead stopped at a spring to get the horses some water. Where is Mr. Lincoln? As all were surprised to find that he was not with them. Do you remember those birds, said Mr. Speed? Well, very likely he has stopped to take care of them. And so in a few minutes, Mr. Lincoln joined them. His shoes were covered with mud. He had torn his coat on the thorny tree. Hello, Abraham, said Mr. Harding. Where have you been? I stopped a minute to get those birds to their mother, he answered. Well, we always thought you were a hero, said Mr. Speed. Now we know it. And all three of them laughed heartily. They thought it so foolish that a strong man like Mr. Lincoln should take so much trouble just for some worthless little birds. Gentlemen, said Mr. Lincoln, I could not have slept tonight 
If I had left those helpless little robins to perish in the wet grass. Well, Abraham Lincoln afterwards became very famous as a lawyer and a political leader. He was a statesman. He was elected president of the United States of America. Next to George Washington, he was one of the greatest Americans that have ever lived. I hope you remember that story. You're like the little young bird. Sometimes you feel like you have fallen out of your nest. But I want you to know God is passing through right now to put you back together and to put you back inside of your nest and to cuddle with you and to hold you and to take his strong hands and wrap them around you. And I want you to never forget when you see someone who is in need, just like the little birds who fell out of their nest, I want you to always help them. Maybe it might be your little brother or your little sister or your friend across the street or someone who you have known in school. And I want you to always help them because that's who you are. You are like Mr. Lincoln. You want to sleep at night because you've helped somebody. Well, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this particular story and your pastor is coming back to tell you many more. Y'all have a great day in the Lord.